Hey everybody, I'm Recycle, and welcome back to Fallout 4 VR Roguish Essentials! So we're here at the Institute, and we've just been given the permission to actually leave, and because we agreed with uh, Ingram to go give her the holotape after we did the scan, then let's go and do that. Even though Father wants us to go do synth retention, but we don't have to do that right away, so let's go. Hello. Here's your holotape, Proctor. Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After all, I built the device myself. I have confidence in everything I built, too. But that's because I'll only deal with technology that I understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully, it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best-case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, your mission to recruit Dr. Lee still needs to be completed. I believe Elder Maxson gave you all of the details. Good luck, Knight. Didn't we already do that? Yeah, we did that. All right, let's go talk to Maxson. Hey, dude. Uh, dude? I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? Cooperative enough. I've convinced her that the Institute is the enemy, not the Brotherhood. Well done, Knight. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, on to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. She has a special project that requires your immediate attention. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. Yeah, and I think um, eventually they might give us a better suit, but um, yeah, it's just a new suit, so she can keep that one and we'll figure it out. But anyway, all right, let's head back down. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? He didn't tell me anything. Makes sense. We've been trying to keep it under wraps until the time was right. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've, you've noticed that we've been doing the Accentuate the positive. Max and been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. Yeah, so this is the only way to get this door to open. This storage bay full of parts is what's left Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. Okay. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence, because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Hmm. There's got to be a way to solve that. I do all the maintenance on the Pridwin, so you'd think it'd be a snap. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Okay. That'd be cool if the Brotherhood manages to get that giant robot working. 
I'd love to see it in action. Yeah, so this door is closed. Um, and this door is closed. And I think they can open later on, but there's like one of these doors that just never opens. Oh well. There she is. Dr. Lee. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. You promised you'd help us. You're right, I did. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. You know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. All right. Yeah, um, that wasn't even a speech challenge. It was like a white option. Oh, hey, he's back. So, um, I guess, uh, I think I can take him with me, but it doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure I get his perk. Paladin dance. I've informed Captain Kells of your search for the missing recon team. Going forward, report your findings directly to him. Um, can you come with me? Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Yeah. Ready. Roger that. Okay. I can still move. Ingram? Wow. Things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Yeah. Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers, I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're going to have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Sure. Anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in its limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Yeah, and you know what? I probably have one just laying around. Let's find <laughs> out. Oh, we don't need this stuff anymore. Oh. I'm not allowed to build them. Uh, is it because I don't have a uh, high-powered magnet right in front of me that I have to pick one up first? It might be so. Yeah, because I have a few of them here. Uh, I'll just take one. All right. Okay, yeah, that is the case. There you go. Proctor Ingram. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions, and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them... His offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. 
But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. She's right. Of course she's right. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. I'll head out there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the Glowing Sea. I suggest you head out there first, and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. So, I think... Well, they want you to go there, but if you just go all the way there, I think it's okay. And then dance is, uh, important. But, um, yeah. So the map tells you to go here, but if you knew about it, uh, you know, I don't remember where it is. Yeah, so let's do it their way. Yeah, it's somewhere out in the glowing sea. I don't remember exactly where. But, um, you know, if we weren't playing with super radiation, we could have explored the entire glowing sea and it had been no big deal. But, uh, even though we're completely ghoulish, we'll still get killed out there because of true storms and everything. So, Waypoint Echo. It's over that way. Eager Tours Marina. It's all built up. Yeah. Um, no need to really visit, though. Ammon. Well, he has a name. I don't know. Oh, watch out for the landmines, guys. <laughs> that always happens. Oh, wait. Huh. Okay, someone else had the same idea, and they built a thing so you could go out there. Neat. Because I've done that same thing before. Even though normally you're not allowed to build there. If you can build at, uh... The marina, then you can do it. These fools are nothing but cold-blooded murderers. <laughs> You're mine now. Headless and shooting at me? What the hell? Oh, I guess we got some backup. Yeah, you know... It's funny. Uh, let's use a bigger gun. Come on, is that all you got? Where are they at? Yeah, I think at some point I should probably upgrade her alien blaster. Could be a little stronger. I don't have my jetpack. Completed. Scrap palace. What do you mean completed scrap palace? Completed in what context? Wow, he did a lot of damage. I can still move my uh, fingers even though I'm dead. Well, I'm dead. And the game crashed. Alright, take two. Oh, hello.
Ow. <laughs> You're quite a soldier. We're doing this right now. <laughs> Completed scrap palace. Oh, because Heather wanted to come here. That's why. All right, and that's for this guy who killed me. Because <laughs> he had some kind of super duper gun. Anyway, more stuff to kill. Ow. Which assholes and miniguns. Just kill it. Rust devils. With miniguns, because, you know, why not? Here's a Vault 95. Here they are. Can I it's talk to you? See you again, Knight. You've come a long way since you stumbled in the Cambridge Police Station. Sure. Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still in one piece. We're doing the best that we can. We've had the occasional synth attack, but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. That's not surprising. After all, it's in good hands. I appreciate that. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Okay. Doesn't sound too difficult. Ah, oh, no. Not at all. You're only heading back into the most inhospitable place in the entire Commonwealth. Look, I know you've been through the glowing sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. <laughs> Is this the place? Are these the guys that I have to kill for McCready? And that we're just here? Just randomly? I think they are. Uh, let's do this. But there's a suit of power armor and a sleeping dog. Okay. Sleeping bad dog. Raider survivalist. Uh... Oh, I don't have my jetpack. The edge of the glowing sea. Okay, but those guys are... Yeah, same road, just up that way. Okay, well, I guess we'll do that later if we ever, uh... Get around to maxing out all the, uh... Followers. But, um... Yep, let's go, we know where it is. You know, I think I want some perks for automatics. I have a bunch of levels I haven't used. That should help. Uh, I'm taking damage. You stay here too long. We're gonna get sick. Yeah, I could use some tea. No kidding.
Here we are, the Sentinel site. Open sesame. Astoundingly awesome. Not sure which one, but it's one of them. Oh, here it is. Sentinel Sight Blast Door Override. So if there's any of these doors that you want to open that, um, you know, you haven't, you can use that. But basically, you just go down to the lowest level. Uh... You know, whatever. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, hello. You can talk to this guy. I'm just gonna kill him. Does the robot not care? Uh, hello. I can't talk to it. I guess because I stealth killed him. Um, am I in dialogue? Captain Dunleavy's holotape. Uh, open the oh. door. Gonna need a password. Password? This password? He has marine armor. Too heavy to carry around, of course. All right. And put the thing. That ever gets into the wrong hands? It's goodbye, humanity. For good. Hello? I'm taking damage here. Take a damage. I can't move. Now that um, the site's been secured. You should return to the airport immediately. Yeah, I will. I'll remain on watch until the vertebrates arrive. Okay. Good idea. Wouldn't want these things falling. I think I need to skip exactly. through this dialogue uh -huh. because uh, I'm dying. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. Okay, bye. See you later before I die. <laughs> yeah, it's like a uh, 6x radiation, which most of the time is fine, but sometimes, yeah, you have to do dialogue in places where you're taking radiation damage, and before it wouldn't have mattered, but now it'll kill you because it takes that long to talk. Well, anyway, let's take the quick way out of here. Can I not get close to this wall? Okay. Yeah. Proctor Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. 
That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. Hmm. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. Take him we down. haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime. Mutant? Uh, damn, all my guns are, uh, explosive? Alright, can't do anything on their own. Oh, I guess that screwed up the dialogue. <laughs> Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. Where it is she? It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are gonna hold. I have full confidence in everyone's abilities here. I appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, We'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. Okay. Crawl up oh. The baby oh, there she goes. Okay. Liberty Prime, back online. Let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module online. Audio functionality test initialized. Designation Liberty Prime Mark II. Mission The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets. Any and all red Chinese invaders. Let me run a system analysis and a battle readiness check. Liberty Prime. Full system analysis. All systems. Nominal. Weapons. Hot. Warning. Nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. Got green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but... Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. With him on our side, I don't see how the Institute even stands a chance. I couldn't agree with you more. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. Medic pop. It'll do, I suppose. Well, that's gratitude for you. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. That is the coolest fucking robot in the history of robots. Well, it's like, uh, big. But anyway... Yeah, so next episode, we'll talk to Maxson and, uh, get our next mission, so... Yeah, so cutting this one here. If you've been watching, thanks! And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.